Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2023, and we're here right now in the booth of Quinsight, and we have with us Jeff Mays. He is founder and CEO of Quinsight. Jeff, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. So this is apparently your uh, Quinsight's first RSNA that you've been exhibiting at. Can you tell us a little about the company and what you do? Yeah, uh, so Quinsight does data analytics for radiology organizations. Uh, the main thing that we work on is bringing together their disparate data sources. So from risk packs to dictation to billing to scheduling and then putting it all into one place so they can uh, hopefully make more effective and timely decisions to help run their practice. And what sort of data, data points are we looking at here? Yeah, so we're trying to really encompass everything a group does. So from real time HL7, uh, from the risk packs, possibly EHR as well as from their billing systems, scheduling systems, financial systems, from an Excel spreadsheet that they keep on their desktop. Uh, data is spread out everywhere. The nice thing about healthcare is it's very data rich. It's just very information poor. So we're trying to help transform that. And you're ca are you capturing data on radiologist performance, things like that? Yeah, we do a lot of operational intelligence. So we're trying to figure out um, how healthy is the practice, and how can they make decisions that can have a um, pro uh, positive impact on the organization, both on physician burnout, patient outcomes, and financial stability. Because um, e efficiency and workflow have been such a huge issue the last few years, and that's feeding into this burnout issue, and we've got also issues with for workforce shortages. There was a talk today at RSNA on Sunday about workforce shortages, and you feel like that kind of feeds into what you guys offer. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so we're doing a lot of work around trying to understand um, how volumes flow in and out. So part of it is understanding um, what is the demand on their time? When are patients requesting imaging, right? So looking at uh, end exam time, at image availability time, to figure out uh, on nights and weekends, on days of the week, when the work is there, and those volumes are increasing. And then also understanding who do you have scheduled? So what physicians do you have available? And understanding why, when are they actually reading? Um, and then marrying that together so we can show them um, how does their current workflow look? Um, and then what that does is by overlaying those data points, we can show them that by um, maybe moving a shift earlier in the day, by adding an evening shift, by updating a weekend rotation, they can actually meet their demands, improve turnaround times, without hiring to necessarily hire additional staff. And then that's gonna save them money and probably make their staff a little happier as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, and so part of what we're doing with that, looking to 2024, is really understanding um, what we've done historically is what's happened historically. What's happened last week, last month? What's happening right now? And what we wanna do is get more into what's gonna happen next week, next month, next quarter. Uh, we understand seasonality, we understand trends in different parts of the country. Uh, we understand how their volume looks when we're having their history. And so we want to be able to help a radiology organization say, hey, next Thursday looks like it might be a rough day. Um, and based upon the data and the information we know about your practice, uh, we believe that here is a, um, an alternative to, to that next Thursday so that your physicians don't hit, have that hit by the bus kind of feeling and patients don't have a delay in their in clinical outcomes. That's a great idea. Yeah, so we're excited about it. Um, you know, you can't go five feet without tripping over an AI sign here, which, you know, a lot of hype, but a lot of promise. And so we're, we're investing in that as well ourselves. And I really think um, we're looking forward to taking um, all the timely real-time data and turning it into something really actionable so that both patients and physicians can see better outcomes uh, going forward. All right, perfect, that sounds great. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. Jeff Mays from Quinsight, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having us, appreciate it. Thank you. Signing off from RSNA 2023, my name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire.